Hey guys, it's Tanya from 4 Girls Jewelry. I'm very excited to share these earrings. Today, it's so easy to make and I feel like because I make two different, it's the same thing. Just here, I didn't add anything on the bottom, but you can actually jazz it more. Add it a little dangle here and I really like it. It's easy. All you need is a um, piece, three inches of uh, your 16 or 18 gauge wire, 24 gauge wire for creating this top here. They didn't go in a level of sulfur yet, so uh, they need to go. But because I, I just start to create something, I thought I will quickly film that because it's getting more weird or more craziest idea so this one i even like even more better i know it's it's a lot but for those who want to create something very organic you can make a little strip and just add it to it uh prior when we did something like we did earrings you can also make a little edge like that and add it like you know like something like that only long, more long if you wanted to so the possibility is endless and so just for that we needed this tool i got it from michael's so it has this curve that's what i will use three inches of wire uh, i even thought for those who don't like torch you can do it similar thing but because there will be no bubble up here, you can bend a little bit, hammer it, and just nicely clean this part and do the same thing. This piece is just too small because see how when I start forming this legs were not symmetrical, but it's just idea for those who are scared of torch because all we need to do is just something like that. And you can do it without a torch just like i said hammer it polish that's it okay three inches of wire these are already after a torch ideally i will do two in the same time but because i have a lot of them here so i will just make it the same this one belongs to this and this one belongs to that right yeah so it doesn't look like what it does so um i will show you how i made the shape so you put in the middle and just push it both sides so that's what you will have again push it nicely and see i feel like uh see if i did it mistake too this needed to be a little bit more symmetrical let's see like somebody last time said that i'm out of the uh, camera <laughs> that's usually happens because when i start forming my hands go okay and then i do slowly 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 until they touch um so because i was too excited and going too fast you guys go slow, take your time, create beautiful shape like that. And then what you have to do is you have to hammer because my, all of them, I hammer. I hammer only this part. So this part, hammer. Let me quickly, does this belong here? So I will quickly hammer this part and we can continue to make something like that. Yeah, so I'm back with the hammered piece. So now we need 24 gauge. Let me not mix these. So we make this one. Uh, 24 gauge. I have a piece long I will not cut. So I start from a small leg here and you have to be consistent. If 
or uh, let's see here I even start yeah I started from the small okay so I made four wraps I remember that so one one if it's easier like this for you you needed four wraps four wraps make sure you either cut your tail or nicely push where it's supposed to be which i like to push it just don't like to waste any wire going to the top and now the problem is for me always to make symmetrical earrings always i have that trouble so when i do earrings uh what i do is i would put it here so i know it's the same the height is the same okay and then i use my pliers have the mark so i use this little piece here this mark i hope it's in the same let's see again yeah so they will look the same but lengthwise yeah okay so i have one two three and then i go to hug this other one this other side one two after that, I go back to the place, to the top, and just finish it here. That's it. And if you don't like any jump ring, you can easily make this loop sitting that way, just without the jump ring. Some people don't like to create jump rings. I have a bunch of them. So constantly make more and more and more and more. I have a lot of jump rings, different sizes too. Okay, uh, here we go, done. So now I wanna add the bottom one. So you can use same 24 gauge and also consistency like consistent like i have three on the side so i will add three for this i use four four and four so whatever you create whatever stitches you put in the beginning finish the same way because it looks then nice okay so i have two you have three only right yeah okay And I use three, four, five, six, seven labradorites. So you seven, three, four, five, six, seven. If you use smaller beads, just make sure you have this gap filled with your beads. Could be more or less you know doesn't matter the doesn't matter of the size of the beads you can you can tailor it to your design one two three that's it we cut the wire make sure the little tail is pushed okay and guys you can leave it like it is you know just finish earring just make sure it's like sits nice and stuff like that you can a little bit rubber hammer with the rubber mallet but uh 
I like when it's later had like you can put these guys I use a small jump rings here and just attach it's also 24 gauge wire I believe I don't know like I have tons of different uh, head pins that I created in the past so you can jazz up like that and make it um, or you can do something like that very very crazy but sometimes you want to have very crazy earrings you can create a lot of netting here up to you I just thought it's important to show the top because here see I even because I did this this morning and the, the important thing is to create them in the same time because if you create in the same time they will be identical if you don't they will be a little different so yeah I see the difference now because here is uh, not wrapped that much on the top but you got the message right guys I hope you like it and I hope you will create unique pieces with uh, just wires and your in some beads it actually can be even without anything. I feel like the shape is so beautiful, just simple. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next Tuesday with some different idea. And I hope your week will be amazing. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on Tuesday again. You have a day. Bye-bye.